Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing fine. I have received, I'm sorry, I'm filming myself, I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at the camera, I'm going back and forth with my eyes, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I have received my backplate from PCBWay.com. Can you imagine a PCB company making CNC machined parts? So... Well, to make it easier to shoot, let me switch to the other camera. Um, I have to pause the video, I think. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB services, which include standard PCBs, they also offer advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs and PCB assembly. You can upload your Gerber files and select the options according to your needs, including SMD stencil and assembly services. On the top of the page you can make your selection. PCBWay also has CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending, 3D printing and injection molding services. You can choose from a vast variety of materials. You can upload your CAD file for an instant online quote, including the selection of your preferred material and surface finish. They also offer anodizing of aluminum parts in different colors and surface treatments. You can get sheet metal fabrication and laser cutting. 3D printing services and cover your injection molding needs. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for hobbyist and professional manufacturing as well. Okay, obviously the camera cannot be switched during recording, so I have to stop the video and shoot it again. Anyway, here is the backplate I have received from PCBWay.com. Uh, I still am glad and can't believe it, kinda, that a PCB company has 3D printing capabilities and CNC machining of all sorts of metals. And um, anyway, I have my friend belt the backplate to the spindle shaft. And this is the result. Well, I'm producing some chips here. And uh, that's the oil that's seeping out of the chuck. Anyway, I'm very happy with the backplate. I tried to buy it from a UK company, but uh, that didn't work out. So it came all the way from China around the world. Anyway, I'm very happy with it, as I said. And now I can produce some chips. I did start with palm. And um, these were my first cuts. Well, the contrast is uh, pretty low. Can't see much, but I do. I saved some chips. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Uh, that was from parting because it was longer and uh, looked like this. I first tried to cut it with a hacksaw, and then with a uh, I forgot the name with another tool but uh, you saw what happened it takes forever it uh, produces thin like web like spider web uh, anyway I then just chucked it in and cut it off that was my first try cutting it off and then I did these sides manually by using my keypad and my pendant and this was actually the first CNC cut piece that's just OD turning with the radius and uh, can't be happier obviously this is soft material easy to cut I don't have any aluminum uh, so I asked the guy who welded this on to give me some pieces of steel and uh, I'm not sure what it is, just some machined pieces and I 
did face it off and uh, turned out, uh, well, turned it down. And this is the result. I do have, um, oh, I can't think of the words, I don't know why. Um, how do you call it? Not vibration. Um, oh man, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to write this down. Chatter. Chatter. So I do have some chatter. I have to, and I mean, this is just welded on, mounted on here, no adjusting, no nothing. And uh, the only thing I did is I did add another 80 by 80 millimeter profile on the bottom. So the whole bottom is now supported. And I'm thinking also of, I will fill it with epoxy that I will do. I've try to find to somewhere I can buy it and um, also I'm looking for a cast iron table to put the lathe on and mount it from the bottom into the profile so mount it to the table from the bottom and that should eliminate any chatter left but I'm still I mean <laughs> the naysayer said I cannot cut steel I think I can as I said, I don't have any aluminum, so I could not try it. And obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. The last time I worked on a lathe was uh, when I was 18. I'm almost 55. So over 37 years ago in school. And uh, well, with no idea what I'm doing is like the feed and the speed and the... Uh, um, the depth of cut so I will learn as I go anyway I also did upgrade my um, cable drag chain before it was sitting on here and um, it was a bit short on this side so I upgraded it and I bought a chain cable drag chain and I can only recommend it that opens up like this and you can uh, lay the wire in. This is so much easier than having a drag chain which is closed and you have to feed the cable through. And if something goes wrong and you have your plugs already soldered onto it, you can go ahead and unsolder the plug and feed it again. So this is much, much better. Uh, it's also a little bit bigger, so much better for my in my case. Let me put my glasses on so I'm see what I'm, uh, I can see now. Uh, anyway, this is on the back now. I haven't screwed it down yet, so it has here an angle. And oh yes, this is what I did as well. Uh, before I had the openings of the profile. Well. It looked kind of like this before with everything open this is the main beam heavy duty uh, 80 by 200 millimeters and I had some carbon fiber that I bought long time ago and it was just the perfect material to put on here cover it up it looks nice this is my uh, tension wheel and uh, I really liked how that came out. And uh, for that, here's the, <clears throat> with my hair on it, um, carbon fiber. And I used this saw to cut it. And it went like butter through, no, hot knife through butter. <laughs> and the uh, cuts are all i mean perfect you can just uh, go with slightly with sandpaper over it and it's uh, very nice so i will use these parts to cover up this side and um, oh i also installed my <clears throat> indexing sensor for rpm and i installed a second uh, stepper motor and i ordered the pulleys and belts and this will be used as an indexing uh, chuck. So I can then index the chuck 
and cut spirals or whatever and I will mount a small motor on here with an ER11 chuck and uh, be able to cut any slots or whatever I want onto that. I obviously still have to um, make the tool holder. This is just a temporary solution and this is the don't do it like this kids where the tool holder is hanging over and that will be all fixed if I get the, if I make the correct tool holder for the bits here so but still uh, it works it cuts and uh, I'm very very happy and also I did order some nuts and that's what I liked about the profiles I can just use nuts and then I can mount something on here which obviously I will do I will make myself or buy some bellows and then mount them here across the slide on this side maybe a little bit I'm not sure yet but definitely on the back side here and uh, <coughs> here are the nuts and uh, actually these nuts are too wide to go in there and I used my belt grinder my huge among us belt grinder to grind those things and make them fit so even this little guy can grind down steel yep I have a belt grinder of my own in the making <laughs> I got the wheels already and I got some belts and that's about it the rest I still have to buy uh, but now I can even turn my own contact wheels and don't might not have to use these so that's another project going on but these even these little tools do help a lot uh, anyway uh, the bellows I will either order or make it myself if I do it like this and I do get some hot chips up there and this will probably just burn through this I don't know uh, how hot it is when it lands down so that I will try but it will get covered and here are my sensors I showed them before I have them on screws and I can slide them down and have them <coughs> just a second sorry about that I had some somebody yelling on the street <clears throat> anyway um, yes this is it so far I'm waiting still on some parts I will mount the e-stop and the on off switch or whatever uh, oh, not the switch uh, LED and uh, on here and here I can also if I turn this on this is the controller I have I showed it before and uh, here I can control actually everything including just a second so but I will still make a custom controller for myself um, based for a uh, CNC lathe. I know there are many um, pendants out there and this is actually also a pendant but this was for a uh, girl and now I will make a pendant for Mach 3. So anyway this is it if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments. A uh, big thank you to PCBWay and um, I will have more videos coming up. Thanks for watching.